So here we have the BMW 320i Touring on a 64 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We'll start off inside the boot area first of all. The tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can do that from the key or from the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space. We've got that uh, vinyl boot liner as well, and you can increase this space further by folding down any or all of the three uh, rear seats that you see there. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But uh, from the outside, you can see that it's in a lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the fuel gauge. We then have the speedometer, rev counter, and coolant temperature gauge. Uh, within the speedometer, you can see the total miles for this car, first of all. They are 81,841. You can change the information displayed above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have a speed limiter and cruise control over here. We have phone and stereo controls on the right hand side and then over in the center is the stereo itself. So we're on the main screen at the moment, which is where you access your satellite navigation. All of the movement for the screen is done using this dial down here and the collection of buttons that surround it. Uh, so you can go back to the main menu from here. You can access your satellite navigation, your telephone, your media and radio, of course. So if I was to press the radio button, uh, you can see uh, we have got FM, AM and DAB radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you go to the multimedia heading uh, where you've got a CD player and external devices that you can plug in. Uh, USB input, Bluetooth audio and auxiliary input as well. Below that, we have the CD player, the main volume for the stereo, and then the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in independently for passenger and driver. The air conditioning is then on at the moment or off, or you can simply hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and direction of the air for you. Uh, you can override that at any time just by pressing the auto button and you'll go back to whatever setting you had that on previously. Uh, we have underneath here uh, a 12 volt charging socket and some storage. Uh, this tray can remove to give you two cup holders and you can see the locking wheel nut key for the car is there as well. A six speed manual gearbox. You can turn the traction control on and off and then we can change the driving setup of the car. So you're able to put the car into sport, comfort and eco pro from here as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.